안녕하세요 여러분 오늘 수요일에 라이브를 시작합니다 We are on live at K-Style Thank you so much guys for waiting at the live chat I think there's been some conversation going Rachel, Helena the Korean Gourmet Thank you for joining the live chat Hi Clara And Peter joined. Thank you so much. So we're starting something fun today. I had to dictate all the English script from this TV series called The Lost. Have you ever seen this TV show before? I used to be addicted to this TV series. Actually, I think the other live streaming when we talked about like 24, like American TV series, it reminded me of doing some kind of TV series that once I used to watch, right? So this is gonna be fun for me as well and fun for some of you. The Lost, my favorite UFC TV show, awesome. <laughs> okay, hi Clara, thanks for joining. Moise Hernandez, thank you. If you're joining for the first time, please let us know your name and your country, where you're from, because we love to get to know you. This is a live streaming that comes with interactive learning. So I want you to prepare pen and paper and dictionary ready. I usually use Naver Dictionary. You can use dictionary.naver.com. If you have your own dictionary, that's totally fine as well. But this is usually what I refer to throughout the live streaming. So if you could look up words even before live streaming starts, that's even more fantastic because you're going to remember what you study even before doing the live streaming, right? So try to answer the questions as much as you can in the live chat because that's how you're going to remember more about the Korean what you're learning. Moises, hi, hi Dean, Gana, nice meeting you all. So today uh, I found this link yesterday about lost only about Korean scenes. You guys know there are two Korean characters in that TV show and, and it's more like flashback. She's having flashback. That's the part that I'm going to go through today. Actually, it is quite a long script, so I don't know if we can get through everything today. If not, you can just go over the rest of the script because I copy and paste it. In that uh, description box, you can just work on it on your own time if we don't go through it all together today. But I had to dictate this long script today. Hopefully, it's right, but some word I couldn't understand. So maybe we're going to study together. So let's go through the study board. The, you can find the link in the description box and then you can also find my comment there. This is the places we're gonna go through, okay? Hibernating TV, thank you. Maria, thank you. Vicklam, Dean, Diana, thank you for joining the live. Okay, let's begin. Yeah, yeah. Sona, Mara, this one did you know? Arosu? Krigo. 질문 받기 전에는 절대 말하면 안 된다. 안녕하세요. 어, 네. 아, 예쁘게 생겼네. 이쁘죠. 마음에 쏙들 거야. 자, 잘 생겼지. 한골 좋지. 아버님이 이 호텔 회장님이셔. 거기다가 호텔을 열두 개나 가지고 있게. 어서 오십시오. 서울 게이트웨이 호텔을 찾아주셔서 감사합니다. Okay, I'm just gonna stop there. It is kind of fast and long. We're gonna go through word for word together. Just let me know if you can hear the sound well enough because I maximize the sound, but I don't know if it's loud enough. Okay, but this scene is kind of funny because it is kind of typical uh, way of Korean parents um, <laughs> like kind of pressuring their kids when they're reaching certain age for marriage. So, oh, you can hear just fine. Thank you so much for letting me know. So mom is setting up some kind of blind date for her daughter. So she's going on a blind date. And then the woman, the older lady who greeted them, 
I think she is the uh, kind of um, almost a moderator. I don't know how to say for blind dates. Somebody who's introducing both parties. So, 엄마, yeah. 선아 말할 때 손짓하지 말어. 알았어. 그리고 질문 받기 전에는 절대로 말하면 안 된다. 알았지? So, as you can tell, mom is kind of giving directions on what she needs to do or what she needs to say at that blind date because this is very important for Korean parents. It's more like parents, parents to relationship or like family, family to relationship. So it is very important even for parents when it comes to marriage. Oh, 중매쟁이, 네. Matchmaker, I like that. Thank you, Helena. Uh, 소개팅 sounds a little more casual. Like, even for friends, matchmaker, I can set a blind date for friends. This is more like 선. There is a specific word for this type of blind date set by family member. Okay? So it's kind of 소개팅. So yeah, hey. Okay? So she's kind of calling her daughter, yeah. Okay? Yeah actually means kid. So as you know, subject is orange color, object pink, bird, blue. This is miscellaneous color. Okay? Yeah, hey. Son is the daughter's name in Lost. Okay? Hi, Tiffany. Stay my day. We just started actually. So I'm going to play the scene again so we can go through word for word. Son is her name. So I is like calling out. The girl's name, hey, son, son, calling out someone's name. 말할 때, this is the verb 말하다, right? And then 알 때, underneath. 말하다, which is what? Look up the verb 말하다. 알 때 is used after verb root plus 알 때. When it ends with vowel, you're going to add 알 때. Okay, 말하다. So this is speak, right? Say, when you say, hey son, when you say, 손짓하지 말어. So she's already giving directions. 손짓하다 verb, look up the verb. 말어, 지 말어. This is the same thing as 지 마, pretty much. 손짓하지 마, it's the same thing as 손짓하지 말어, okay? So, 손짓하다. As you know, 손 is hand. 짓 is more like behavior, gesture. So 손짓하다 is do a hand gesture. So as in, it seems like don't be kind of out in the open. You know, like uh, if you like 손짓하다, it seems like you're really outgoing. It's not feminine, right? So normally parents say, don't look too masculine in front of other people. Maybe that's what I'm getting it based on the context. So when you speak, 손짓하지 마라. Don't use too much hand. 알았어. Okay, you got it? So this is the verb 알다, to know. But in the past tense, this is more like you got it, understand? 그리고 질문 받기 전에는 절대로 말하면 안 된다. 그리고, that's the conjunction connecting sentence to sentence. 그리고, and, right? And, 질문 받기 전에, 질문. That's the object. You could add 질문을, but you don't need to. 받다 verb, 기, makes the verb into a noun. Verb root plus ki makes the verb into a noun. Normally, it's used with 전, 전에, 받기 전에. Okay, so 전 is what? Tone에는 a is time particle tp. 는 as for, as for when you're doing this, as for before. Receiving answer. 
질문 받다 being asked that's a good way to interpret to receiving questions 질문 receiving questions so being asked before you are asked what 절대로 절대 never low you could omit it it's not really that important 절대 절대로 they're the same thing 말하면 안 된다 말하다 면 that's the conjunction 말하다 and then 면 안 된다 so this is the 되다 verb when you see 되다 with 면 you can interpret it as what verb 면돼 verb 면돼 that's you can say you can speak but we see on here this is negation you cannot speak but however we see negation and another negation it doesn't mean they're canceling out negation it's more like emphasizing this negation you cannot ever almost you can say it like that you cannot ever say it. you can never say it. that's right it's the emphasis before you are asked don't say anything that's what she means don't say anything before you are asked mm -hmm. double negation equals emphasis i like that okay so maybe i'm gonna play this part as we can see this notepad let's see yeah yeah 선아 말할 때 손짓하지 마라 알았어 그리고 질문 받기 전에는 절대로 말하면 안 된다 아이고, 안녕하세요 아, 네. 아이고, 예쁘게 생겼네 이쁘죠 마음에 쏙들 거야 자 잘생겼지 한골 좋지 아버님이 이 호텔 회장님이셔 거기다가 호텔을 열두 개나 가지고 있대 어서 오십시오 서울 게이트웨이 호텔을 찾아주셔서 감사합니다 오케이 okay, right here so 아이고 did you hear that it's very subtle 아이고 it's like impressed about the beauty hi ocean discovery thanks for joining welcome back so i guess you've seen lost <laughs> 아이고 oh my 안녕하세요 안녕하다 세요 i break it down into please peace to please it's in hello okay hello 이쁘게 생겼네 this ajma is like matchmaker 예쁘게 생겼네 so she's referring to the daughter 예쁘게 this is an adverb so look up the verb 예쁘다 verb root plus k it's more like adverb not always but often it is adverb so prettily 생겼네 생기다 verb to appear but you uh, when we say handsome or pretty we already say have appeared you have appeared prettily meaning you look pretty 네 exclamation mark wow she looks pretty and then she's saying she's telling the daughter 마음에 쏙들 거야 this is more like an expression as you know 마음에 들다 this word I'm gonna write it here 마음 okay 마음 right what did we say 마음에 들다 that's right like like somebody I think she's referring she's telling the daughter you will like him 마음에 들다 enter heart lift heart okay 마음에 technically lift in my mind lift your mind so deeply so that means deeply so 들다 plus 알 거야 so technically the verb is 들다 but when you're using future tense you don't need to add another r okay so 들다 becomes 들 거야 you will like him deeply 
So matchmaker will assuring the daughter, you will like him. Why? 잘생겼지. 생기다, again, this is G, confirmation. This one also in the past tense, it means he has appeared that way. So he looks well as in he's handsome. Right? This is an expression, 잘생겼다. Somebody is 잘생겼다. We usually refer to men as good looking. Okay? So he's handsome and she says something. I actually didn't catch it. Mm hmm. G is a confirmation. Jo is G yo. Actually, in polite speech, G is casual. Mm hmm. Jo G. Something is good. As you can see, I hear the subtitle. Actually, she uh, said education is good. But I didn't hear exactly what she said in Korean. I couldn't catch it. If you can catch it, please let me know. But in the subtitle, it said education is good. 아버님이 이 호텔 회상, 회장님이셔. 아버님이 What's 아버님? E subject particle, E hotel, 회장님, E show. Okay, so this verb is E shida. Being polite because she's referring to 아버님. The subject is 아버님. That's why she's elevating the subject. So his father is this hotel's president. Wow, meaning they're very wealthy. Kapu, <laughs> Cheber. So be ready. He, they're very wealthy family. Father is the CEO. Mm hmm. 거기다가 호텔을 열두 개나 가지고 있대. Okay, 거기다가. This one you can think of it as 거기에다가. I wrote it down somewhere. 거기. 거기 다가 is like 거기에다가 So there to while So it doesn't make sense if I break it down So as Tiffany said you can think of it on top of that or more to it or moreover Okay So 거기다가 same thing 거기다가 게다가 is besides So you mean this one 게다가 That's besides 게다가 I guess it could be moreover besides that point in addition to I guess they're very similar 거기에다가 yeah, on top of that 호텔을 12개나 가지고 있대 호텔을 object particle 12개나 What is 12개? 가지고 있다 대 엔딩 열두 개나 yesterday stream we also mentioned I think 이나 다나 it could be interpreted as what amount of that much amount of in this case that much of twelve in Korean number system amount of twelve hotels to the extent of 12 hotels, what? He has it. Okay. He's got 12 hotels. 대, why do we use 대 ending here? It's more like somebody said. So she's just referring, making a reference to somebody said. Someone said that. He's got 12 hotels on top of that. Okay, so meaning even wealthier than you thought from the first <laughs> previous sentence. Even wealthier. Oh, I see. 가지. Oh, I didn't mention about that. 가지다. 고 있다. Verb root plus 고 있다. That is ing tense. 우리는 공부하고 있어요. We are studying. Okay, so verb root. 고 있다. 
It is ing. He is having currently. Okay, Pre progress. Right now, he's got those 12 hotels. So it's more like ing tense. He's having it. Okay. And then Jin. <laughs> you know Jin? I don't remember this scene actually. He's working as a bellman <laughs> in this scene. So maybe that's how they met. I have no clue. I forgot. It's been a while. Also, Shipshu. Also, Oshipshu. Oshida Bishio. This is not a common way in speaking, to be honest. When you see shio, it's very formal and you can hear it more so from broadcast message. Yeah, so meaning quickly, come, polite. Technically, the verb by itself is all that, right? Quickly, come, also, say, you could say, also, say, also, shio, right? Welcome, as in, come quickly. 서울 게이트 호텔을 찾아주셔서 감사합니다. 서울 게이트, that's the uh, name of the hotel. So I guess they're in Seoul. 서울 게이트 호텔 찾아주셔서 찾아주셔서 감사합니다. So this is the conjunction. You can see the verb here, 찾아주다. 찾아주다, conjugated to 찾아주셔, right? 서, what is that? This is mean, meaning because, okay? So in English, you're gonna say thank you for the action. Thank you for that, right? But in Korean, we say thank you, 감사하다 is thank. Thank you because. Thank you because you omitted, you visited, 찾아주다, visit, you found as a favor, this hotel, okay? As a result of, you can interpret it in any way, but you can say as a result of or because you found this hotel, thank you, okay? Get it, so for example, you can say, 어, 오늘 유튜브에 와주셔서 감사해요. Thank you for coming to my live chat, YouTube, right? Mm-hmm, 찾다 is find, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna play this part. I will probably start from the beginning because that's where I put the timeline. Let's see. 예야, 선아, 말할 때 손짓하지 마라. 알았어? 그리고 지금 밖에 자네는 절대 말하면 안 된다. 아이고, 안녕하세요. 어, 네. 아유, 예쁘게 생겼네. 이쁘죠. 마음에 쏙들 거야. 자, 잘생겼지. 학벌 좋지. 아버님이 이 호텔 회장님이셔. 거기다가 호텔을 열두 개나 가지고 있대. 어서 오십시오. 서울 게이트웨이 호텔을 찾아주셔서 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 호텔이 너무 멋있어요. 무슨 가찬의 말씀을. 제가 알기로는 대개 따님이 서울대학 다녔다면서요? 아, 네. 아무렴은 하바드만 하겠어요. 자, 이제 그만 둘이서 얘기할 수 있도록 시간을 좀 내줍시다. 안녕하세요. 아드님 멋있고 잘생기셨어요. 잘 됐으면 좋겠어요. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here. You know, the, this guy reminds me of Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Do you know, you know Jeff Bezos? <laughs> you know this... Why is he bald? <laughs> no idea. But anyway... Oh yeah, he's bald. You mean the Jeff Bezos? He is the Amazon CEO. You know Amazon where the where you shop? 
So Amazon.com, you know, things like that, shopping mall, online shopping mall, Jeff Bezos looks like him actually. Anyway, hotel이 너무 멋있어요. Hotel이, it's kind of funny to look at these parents having conversation. It's like totally, totally what I imagine or what I have experienced. between parents you know korean parents have really get into all the nitty-gritty stuff so sometimes you feel like oh you don't have much freedom in choices because they actually tell you everything even in this case the parents direct everything right hotel is so beautiful hotel very beautiful cool right mod is t a exist charm so hotel is very nice okay so she's saying 무슨 과찬의 말씀은 무슨 in this case it doesn't mean which it's like what kind uh what kind of uh 과찬의 말씀 let's go through the first 과찬 과찬의 말씀을 A is possessive. Object particle. Quachan is over praise. Malsim. This is honorific noun for my word. Over praise word. So you can think of it as, oh, what kind of over praised word is that? Oh, stop it. That kind of thing. Quahada, this is excessive, to be excessive. Quahada, quachan, that's overpraised. Maybe qua by itself is maybe linked to the same Chinese character. Maybe. So, 제가 알기로는 대기 따님이 서울대학 다녔다면서요. So, they're talking about prestigious schools. Okay. 제가 알기로는 I 알기로는 So 기로는 As for And then this is lo, right? 알다 plus 기 is knowing As my knowing As in as far as, far as I know 제가 알기로는 As far as I know, okay? 대기 따님이 대기 따님이 subject particle 대 means honorific form of the other side. Normally we see it as 그쪽, right? The other side between strangers, 그쪽. Okay? In this case, it's very honorific. Informal speech, 대, the other side. So your 따님 technically is 딸 by adding 님 becomes 따님 your daughter so another honorific way 님 you want to be respectful right so your daughter went to where 서울대학 it's Seoul University so this is the most prestigious school it's like Harvard University kind of It's not like equivalent, you know, but it is that prestigious, the most prestigious. That could also mean house, but in this case, it means your. Mm -hmm. So your daughter 다녔다면서요. 다니다 attended. 녔다면서요. Okay, let me find my note. In this case, past tense verb root. 다면서요. Okay. You can use it as I heard that. It's like confirmation also. Can you confirm? I heard that your daughter attended Seoul University. Technically, yes, normally we interpret it as a while. But in this case, it's more like confirming. I heard that. <laughs> I know this is like a strange thing. Usually we see it as uh, 
a while. But in this case, it's more like I heard that. Can you confirm your daughter went to so university? And then the other mom is saying, 네, 아무리하면 하부드만 하겠어요. That actually cracks me up. The way she says it, oh my god, it's kind of cringy a little. Totally typical Korean parents. They're all about prestigious schools. Even after like you're in, let's say you're in, uh, you become grandma, grandpa, they still ask you, probably they ask you which school you went. Why does it even matter <laughs> like uh, in the later life? Anyway, yes, 아무리하면. 아무리하면, of course, as interjection. Of course. 하번만 하겠어요. 하번만 하겠어요. So this is more like expression. Do only have a do. Do only have a do. In this case, have a do 만큼, technically. Man, actually, I first thought that it's only. But I'm gonna interpret it as mankum. Would it do as much as Harvard? Meaning, Harvard is better than Seoul University. That's what she's saying. Of course, but would it do as much as Harvard? So they're kind of praising each other, okay? And then the matchmaker, I put it as Ajuma. <laughs> Matchmaker, 자, 그만. 둘이서 얘기할 수 있도록 시간을 좀 내줍시다. And then now they're saying, bye. 안녕히 가세요. And then, 아버님이 멋있고 잘생기셨어요. 잘 됐으면 좋겠어요. Okay? So, 아줌마, 자, well. So, making transition to another scene. 자, okay. 이제, now going forward. Come on, let's stop here. 둘이서. What's 둘이서? 둘이서. This is like just two of them. Mm -hmm. 얘기할 수 있도록. 얘기하다. 알수 있도록. 도록 means in order to. In order for these two. To. Be able to speak, right? Have conversation. 얘기하다. To have conversation. 시간을 좀 내줍시다. 시간을 object particle time 좀 some 내주다. What's the verb? This is a formal speech. Okay? So, 내다 plus 주다. So, Judah does mean give. It means favor. So, for them as favor. For them. Leave. Right? L leave or make. In this case, let's say make some time. Leave some time. Okay? Make some time in order for these two to have conversation. Let's stop here. And then, 안녕히. Peacefully go, please. Are you guys following? Let me know if I'm going too fast. Okay? If you want me to go over different things, 가세요. Please. Peacefully go, please. Okay? 아드님이 멋있고 잘생기셨어요. 아드님, subject particle, this is also like 따님. We removed R underneath, right? 아들. 아드님 becomes 아드님. Okay? You're gonna remove our 아드님. Okay? Son. Respectful way. 아드님이 멋있고, handsome, be cool, go. Conjunction and. And what? Handsome. Oh, son is cool and handsome. 잘 됐으면 좋겠어요. 잘 됐으면 좋겠어요. So we talked about this. 으면은 좋겠어요. This is will. Will be good. 
It'll be good if that happens. Right? It'll be good if it goes well, becomes well. So you can interpret this as hope. Or I wish, I hope it goes well. I hope. Okay? So you're gonna use 면, 으면, 좋다. That's like I wish, I hope. Okay? So they're kind of wishing them to be together. Okay, I'm gonna play this part. Let's go. Hotel is so delicious. What are you saying? I don't know if you want to go to school. Yes, I don't know if you want to go to school. Okay, now you can talk to the people who are in the room. Let's take the time to talk to you. 안녕하세요. 아드님 멋있고 잘생기셨어요. 잘 됐으면 좋겠어요. 오케이. 넥스트. 어느 분이 더 걱정하세요? 어머님 아니면 아버님? 저희 아버님이요. 물론 어머니를 통해서. 그쪽은요? 저도 저희 아버님이죠. 물론 어머니를 통해서. 이모하고 할머니까지 동원하셨어요. 무슨 전공을 하셨어요? 미술 역사학이요. 어, 그래요? 솔직히 말씀드리면 전 미술은 잘 몰라요. 뭘 전공하셨는데요? 중세 러시아 문학이요. 어쩌다 보니 지금은 호텔을 하고 있네요. 예, 어쩌다 보니까? <웃음> 실은 항상 맞선 별로였거든요. 근데 오늘은 좀 다른데요? 예. 저도요. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. <웃음> okay, I'm gonna scroll up. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't mean to do this. Okay, I'm gonna pause here. Yeah, it is kind of hilarious to watch them, right? <웃음> But that is very typical Korean. Parents, I think. You know what's funny? Did you know this girl, the Korean girl? She is actually Korean, right? In Korea, she was already well known for movie star. Did you know that? She was already well known as movie star, and her husband Jin. I actually never knew him until Lost. The this TV show, but his Korean is not, um, what can I say? He, he sounds like non-Korean. <laughs> he sounds like he grew up in um, maybe uh, abroad. Can you tell? Even like some of the actors and actresses in these scenes, I found that their Korean, it doesn't sound like they grew up or they're born and raised in South Korea. Okay, so Namja, even this guy, his, his Korean sounds a little weird. I don't know, this accent maybe? That's why I had some hard time to understand what he said first. 어느 분이 더 걱정하세요? 어머님 아니면 아버님? 어느 분이? Which person? 분 is what? Person as polite counting unit, right? Which one? 사투리는 아니고요. It sounds like they grew up somewhere. They grew up abroad. Maybe they're practicing Korean just for these things. I don't know. Which one? 더 걱정하세요? More? 걱정하다. This is just polite ending, okay? It doesn't mean please. Which one is more worried? Meaning more worried about you getting married, right? 어머님 아니면 아버님? Mom or dad? And then she say, 저희 아버님이요. My dad, right? 이어 be verb. 
저희 아버님이요. 저희 is my impolite speech. You usually say 나의 or 내, right? Or you could also say 제. 저희 sounds like 우리's, um, 우리의 polite version. 우리의 our dad. Because we usually refer to family member as our, our mom, our dad. 저희 sounds more like polite way to say our. So I'm gonna interpret it as my dad. 물론, of course, 어머니를 통해서 그쪽은요? 물론, of course, 어머니를 mom 통해서 통해서 and then 통하다 So you can think of this whole thing 통해서 as a through through mom of course Which one is more worried about you? My dad but of course through my mom Okay 그쪽은요? How about you? So in this case 은 is what? I interpret it as how about. Okay, 은 is as for in this case, as for. But it could be interpreted as how about. How about the side, as in you. Okay, being respectful because they don't know each other well. And then, 남자가, 저도 저희 아버님이죠. 물론 어머니를 통해서. 저도 as for me, also, I also, 저희 아버님이죠. My dad. 이다 verb, 조. What's 조? Confirmation. For me, also, it's my dad, you know. 물론 어머니를 통해서, they're kind of rhyming each other. Of course, through my mom. Okay? 통해서 you can think of it as through 이모하고 할머니까지 동원하셨어요. 이모하고 할머니까지 동원하셨어요. What's that mean? 동원하다. Look up the verb 동원하다. 하다. 네. 이모하고 aunt and 할머니 mm -hmm. Mother side, I like that Peter You specify it, right? 고모 is dad side 이모, aunt, mom side Aunt and grandma 까지 Usually 까지 means up to or until You can interpret it as even Even my aunt and grandma 동원하셨어요 Join I wrote it here, 동원하다. This is a good one. Mobilize. Even those two people mobilize. They gather together. Okay, for this mission to be completed, right? So, he said, 무슨 전공하셨어요? This is a good one. If you want to ask your friend or anyone, what major they had? What did you study in school? 무슨 전공? Which 전공이 뭐예요? 을 object particle 전공 means major Which major did you do? Because in English normally people will say Which major did you study, right? In Korean we say which major did you do? Which major did you do? She's saying 미술 역사학이요. Art, what? 이요, be verb. Or you can think of it as noun plus just 이요, polite ending. Whichever you want to interpret to. 미술 역사학, what's that? 미술, art, history. 학 has a meaning of Almost like academy. So, art, history, maybe science, 
I don't know, some kind of a uh, academy, okay? So art history. Oh, 그래요. 그래요. This is the verb from 그렇다, right? 그렇다, H underneath. 그렇다, becomes 그래요. Is that right? Right? Okay? 솔직히 말씀드리면 전 미술은 잘 몰라요. 솔직히, what's that? And 말씀드리면 전 미술은 잘 몰라요. So 말씀드리다 is a good one to remember to because normally we say 말하다. This is an honorific verb to say. 말씀, word in honorific, we say 드리다, which is give. We give words. Okay? So say in honorific form is 말씀드리다. <laughs> Hi Tiffany. No, please keep at it. Thank you so much for engaging so much. Even those of you who are on the live chat, try to answer them because that's going to help you to remember better, right? Okay? So try to answer them as much as you can. 솔직히 말씀드리면 Frankly, if I say if, right? 전 this is a subject, but you can interpret it as, as for me. 미술은? Art? 잘 몰라요. What? 모르다 verb. As for me, I don't know art. Technically, 미술 actually, the based on the context is object. 미술은? As for. This is also as for. Or if you want to interpret, I don't know well as for art. Okay. I don't know art well. If I tell you frankly, 뭘 전공하셨는데요? 뭘? What? 전공하시다. So this is 전공하다 verb. You can think of it as do major. Okay. 하셨는데요. This is open conversation or but. I may interpret it as what did you, what major did you study then? What major did you study by the way? You can interpret it that way. 뭘 전공하셨는데요? So now she's curious. Okay, you don't know art? Then what did you study? So he's saying 중세 러시아 문학이요. Natalie is not here, right? <laughs> 중세 러시아 문학이요. 이어 What is 중세 러시아 문학? Russian literature. But 중세 Middle Age You can think of it as Middle Age Russia literature. <laughs> Keep at it. Tiffany, don't be bad. Don't feel sorry. 어쩌다 보니 So, 어쩌다 보니 So, this one, if you look up the word, 어쩌다 Okay? 어쩌다 This is by chance By accident Hi, Karida. Thank you for joining the live. We're doing lost. <laughs> By accidentally, 보니, see, and then, now that. Now that I see by accident. What's that mean? You can think of it as, as it turns out. 어쩌다, by chance, 보니. You can think of it as here, 보니까, right? 어쩌다 보니까, it's the same thing. Now that I see by accident, as in, as it turns out. Okay? 지금은, as for now, 호텔 일 하고 있네요. 호텔 일, what's 호텔 일? 하고 있네요. Okay? 일 means what? 
has many different meanings, right? Either one or day or this is work. Hotel work. 하고 있네요. Again, this is 하다 verb ing. This is ing tense. Okay. Uh, as it turns out, as uh, for now, I'm doing the hotel work. Nail exclamation mark. It sounds like he didn't have any intention to work at hotel. That's why it's kind of funny. She's kind of uh, poking him. As it turns out, because it's very obvious for him to working in hotel because his dad owns how many hotels? More than 12 hotels. So it seems kind of obvious that you might go into the similar path. Yeah, 어쩌다 보니까? And then he was kind of laughing. 실은 항상 맞선 별로였거든요. 근데 오늘은 좀 다른데요. And she's a little nervous. Yeah, 저도요. So what, is, what did he say? 실은? This one you can think of it as 사실은. You could omit 사. Okay? 실은? In fact, honestly, because 사실 by itself is a fact, right? 사실은? Honestly, in fact, 항상. What's 항상? And then, 였거든요. 항상, always, 맞선. This is the one that we talked about earlier. 선, you can think of it as just 선. 선보다. To go on blind date. We say, see, 선. 맞선. That's also blind date. Okay, so this is a Mason blind date date set by family usually. Mm hmm. 감사해요, Tiffany. Stay day, stay my day. Mason 별로였거든요. What's that mean? 별로였다. It was not really my thing, right? 별로야. Okay, 별로다. It's Mm, it's not satisfied. It's not fulfilling. My son, 별로였거든요. I didn't like my son much. Do you get that? In fact, always, my son, 별로였거든요. My son was not that interesting to me. 등요, at the end. 거든요. I looked it up. You can think of it as 거든요 because with an obvious reason. With an obvious reason. Okay? Uh, 근데 오늘은 좀 다른데요. 근데 but 오늘은 as for today 좀 다른데요. Seems a bit different. And they open conversation, 다르다 verb, to be different. But today seems a little different. And then she's saying, me too. 저도요. I or me too. Okay, 저도요. Okay, so they're kind of getting along, right? It's a long script. Okay, let's begin right here. Ready? <웃음> 어느 우리 더 걱정하세요? 어머님 아니면 아버님? 저희 아버님이요. 물론 어머니를 통해서. 그쪽은요? 저도 저희 아버님이죠. 물론 어머니를 통해서. 이모하고 할머니까지 동원하셨어요. <웃음> 무슨 전공을 하셨어요? 미술 역사학이요. 어, 그래요? <웃음> 솔직히 말씀드리면 전 미술은 잘 몰라요. 뭘 전공하셨는데요? 중세 러시아 문학이요. 어쩌다 보니 지금은 호텔을 하고 있네요. 예, 어쩌다 보니까? <웃음> 
실은 항상 맞선 별로였거든요. 근데 오늘은 좀 다른데요? 예. 저도요. How was it? Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to here. How are you guys doing? You doing well? We have a long script, so I don't know if we're gonna go through everything today, but let's see. 안녕하세요, 사장님. 그것 좀 빌려주시겠어요? 네? 데이트가 있어서. 아, 예. <웃음> 물론이죠. 고마워요. 성함이 권진수라고 한다. 고맙습니다, 권진수 씨. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here. So they're meeting at the front gate of hotel, I think, right? 안녕하세요, 사장님. Okay, thank you, Peter. 안녕하세요, hello, 사장님. Okay, president, CEO. 회장님 is like the president, 사장님 is somebody who's also up in the executive. Maybe CEO, you can think. 사장, I wrote here. 그것 좀 빌려주시겠어요? He's saying, 그것 좀. 빌려주시겠어요? Yeah, boss. But everyone has boss too. <laughs> Even if you're not as an executive, everyone has boss. Okay, 그것 좀 빌려주시겠어요? Will you? This is will. Will you 빌리다 verb? What's that? 빌리다, that's right. Borrow. 주, favor. Right? Will I borrow? Uh, no. Let me see. 빌리다. Uh, yeah, I think it's lend. Now that I think. So, 빌려주다, lend. It makes more sense. Will you lend me? I just got blanked out. How would you say in English? Will you lend me that? So you can obviously think, you know, interpret it. Can I borrow that? Or will you lend me that? 빌려주다. And then he's all surprised. 네? And then 사장, 데이트가 있어서. What does it say? 데이트가? Date, subject, particle, 있어서. Because. Date exists. Meaning, I have date. Because I've got a date. Okay? And then he said, 아, 예. 네, 물론이죠. Of course. 물론이다. Be, of course. 조, ending. Confirmation. Of course. And then, 고마워요, thank you, 성함이. So I think he meant 뭐예요, 성함이 뭐예요? But he omitted, 성함이. 성함 is the honorific form of name, 이름. Okay, 이름, polite way, 성함. So 성함이, what is it? So what's your name? And he said 권진수라고 합니다. 라고 하다. What's the mean? 라고 하다. This is I am called 권진수. Okay, you can think of it as I am called 권진수. You could say 권진수예요. 권진수입니다. They are correct. 권진수라고 합니다. I am called 권진수. And then he said 고맙습니다. Thank you. 권진수. 
she, Mr. Normally in English, Mr. is used with surname, right? But we could just use she after the whole name, 권진수 씨, or you could say 진수 씨, 권진수 씨. This is elevating the name, okay? Think of it as Mr., Mrs., things like that. All right, so let's go back here. This is a little shorter. 안녕하세요, 사장님. 그것 좀 빌려주시겠어요? 네? 데이트가 있어서. 아, 예. <웃음> 물론이죠. 좋아요. 성함이 권진수라고 한다. 고맙습니다, 권진수 씨. Mm -hmm. Nice. How you guys doing? This is a little longer right here. <laughs> a bit longer. Maybe let's do the next part. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Number eight, right next to. 갑자기 카드가 안 되는 거예요. 그러니까 제가 타월만 걸치고 변태처럼 복도에 설게 됐었죠. <웃음> 영화에서만 나오는 장면 같아요. 그리고 호텔 미드에게 상황을 설명하는데 글쎄 제가 사장이라니까 절대로 안 믿는 거예요. 얼마나 황당하던데. <웃음> yeah, right here. So they're having a date. Okay? At the hotel restaurant, I think. 갑자기 카드가 안 되는 거예요. 그러니까 제가 타올만 걸치고 변태처럼 복도에 서 있게 됐죠. 됐었죠. 영화에서만 나오는 장면 같아요. 그리고 호텔 메이드에게 상황을 설명하는데 그래서 제가 사장이라니까 절대로 안 믿는 거예요. 얼마나 황당하던지. So they're having a good time, right? Mm, I see. Good, good. 갑자기 suddenly what? 카드가 안 되는 거예요. 카드가 안 되다. So adjective 거예요, right? So you can think of this one. It's that something, right? It's that suddenly car doesn't work. Suddenly, my car, I guess, credit card didn't work. Negation. 그러니까 제가 타올만 걸치고 변태처럼 복도에 서 있게 됐었죠. 그러니까 Because of it, therefore. Okay, 그럼으로 is more like therefore. 그러니까, maybe because of it. Okay. This is to say, I wrote it here. This is to say, 그러니까 제가 I 타월만 걸치고 타월 is the same word. 타월 only what? 걸치다. Go conjunction. What's the mean? 걸치다. Just like drape. 타월만 걸치고 I cover or draped only towel and 변태처럼 복도에 서 있게 됐었죠. What's that mean? Like 변태 복도에 복도에 location particle 서 있게 됐었죠. 서 있다 adverb 됐었죠. Okay. So he is telling the story to her about what happened. Like a pervert. Pyeonthae is a perv. Okay? Like a pervert. Bokdoe. In the aisle. So ikke dweda. I became standing. So ikta. So da is to stand. So ikta. Stand in the state. I became standing. Okay, in the aisle by himself, just hanging the towel. And then she's laughing. 
You're so funny. 영화에서만 나오는 장면 같아요. 영화에서만. 영화에서만. What's that mean? 영화, movie. 에서. This is a specific location, but you can interpret it as what? Only from movie. 나오는 나오다 adjective describing 장면 같아요. It's like, it seems like. It seems like what? Noun plus 같다. It's, it is like that, right? It's like the scene that comes out only from movies. Because it's that um, uh, absurd, right? 그리고 호텔 메이드에게 상황을 설명하는데 그래서 제가 사장이라니까 절대로 안 믿는 안 믿는 거예요. 그리고 and 호텔 메이드에게 what's that mean? 호텔 메이드한테 is the same thing. 호텔 메이드에게 to 호텔 메이드 상황을 설명하는데 상황을 상황 the whole situation as the object 설명하는데 verb but 설명하다 what explained I explained the situation to hotel maid but this part, I'm not sure if this is in, uh, incorrect or correct. 그래서, therefore, thus, or so, 제가 사장이라니까, 제가 I 사장이라니까, 이라니까. It's the same thing as a 라고 하니까. You can think of it as a 라고 하니까. Now that I tell her that I'm the CEO, 절대로 안 믿는 거예요. 절대로. What? Again, never emphasizing on. So means just emphasis of never. 믿는 거예요. 믿다, verb, 거, 예요. So it's that. She didn't ever believe me. It's that she never believed me. 얼마나 황당하던지. 얼마나 황당하던지. 던지 ending. This one. Recalling about something that happened in the past. The verb ending. <laughs> How much that was absurd. 황당하다 is to be absurd or shocked okay how much it was absurd okay recalling about the past okay so let's go back up eight 갑자기 카드가 안 되는 거예요 그러니까 제가 타월만 걸치고 변태처럼 복도를 설게 됐었죠 <웃음> 영화에서만 나오는 장면 같아요 그리고 호텔 메이드에게 상황을 설명하는데 글쎄 제가 사장이라니까 절대로 안 믿는 거예요. 얼마나 황당하던데. 오케이. <웃음> okay. 아 황당하다. This is more like uh, surprised. 어이가 없다 is more like speechless. 음흠. Mm -hmm. 어이가 없다. It's like I have no words to say. I'm speechless. 황당해. It's like shocked. Absurd. So this part, this is a homework for you guys. I know it is kind of long today. It's a long script because they're also speaking fast. But I thought that this scene is kind of funny because you can uh, get a glimpse of the relationship between family members, right? And also how they deal with marriages. So blind they set by family, it is still prevalent in South Korea. 
it's less common compared to before because people um, date with uh, other people uh, before I guess parents tell them to I'm not sure where they're not as shy about dating others but at the same time the birth rate is the lowest ever in South Korea so in that sense maybe people don't actually marry as much as before because they're focusing on the career no clue but i know for a fact that my friends still um had a son my son so it is still going on so it's not far from what we see from this uh, tv show so as i told you this is the last script you can get the full script in the description box and then the link you can go to the link and you can find my comment so this is the timeline 820 you can go through it and study if you have any questions about the last script leave them comment down below and also if you like this video or like this kind of learning format also give feedback I appreciate any type of feedback about the what I'm doing because it helps me to push forward so if you can give thumbs up and leave comment down below and that would be super appreciated yes yeah, so i see you tomorrow at 4 p.m eastern time again but i'm also thinking that maybe i'm gonna kind of go back to making regular videos as well instead of streaming because i'm getting so many ideas about oh my god this is also great expression this is that and I'm also learning as I go. It's not just you learning. I'm also learning as well. So I want to get out there just for one expression here or one grammar there. Because this streaming is really kind of designed for more intermediate and advanced. Just because I cannot gear towards every levels. So it will be also good for beginners who I can actually break down one phrases, I guess. So I may actually do that. But I don't know exactly when, but you can always um, keep an eye on the community tab because I always give out the plan whether I'm doing streaming and what time. So it may change going forward, but we'll see. I give you a heads up, okay? Thank you guys for joining the live and see you tomorrow. Annyeong!